Hello and welcome back to Soul Search Sunday. I am Johnny Tiger, and this is my diary. This is week number seven of the coronavirus quarantine. The date is April twenty sixth, twenty twenty. So it's so quickly that we are back here with a soul search Sunday. It almost seems like I just did a soul search Sunday a couple of days ago.、Uh, I know it's not the same for everybody. I, I know for some people、uh, they are able to stay active and stay strong during the quarantine, and there are some that are、uh, home with five or six family members and. Uh, just everyone's driving each other insane. But maybe that is、uh, somewhat in line with、uh, one of the things I want to talk about today,、uh, with our soul searching. So today I want to talk about、um, uh, first a quote that I heard this week. Secondly, I want to talk about、uh, something that I was reminded of. Uh, in a very nice email that I received, and then I want to、uh, talk a little bit about a bit of personal musing I had earlier、uh, regarding、uh, part of our society and、uh, an old childhood story and morality stories just like that. But first, let's have the quote. I heard this quote yesterday while reading, and while it is a, a very simple quote,、uh, I thought that it has a very nice ring to it and does invoke some good feeling. And、uh, I think the most important thing is it brings to mind a sense of hope. And I think during this uncertain time, hope is something that we can all use more of. The quote goes, "There's no need to worry or fret about issues. Whenever the road is uneven, someone eventually comes along and fixes it. Whenever there is unjust done in the world, someone will always come along to set things right." That's pretty nice.、Um, basically, it tells us that there's really no point to worry about worrying ourselves sick about、uh, some bad things that may be going on and stuff like that. Because、uh, human nature will always produce champions, champions that will come along and help save the world or save our corner of the world. Who know? Maybe you yourself. Are one of those heroes. There's definitely a lot of them out there in the front line right now,、uh, risking their life, risking their family's life, trying to make things a little bit better.、Uh, even、uh, people who do delivery,、uh, bringing food to my door,、uh, I think really, really highly of them right now.、Uh, I'll have you know that before the coronavirus quarantine. I was one of those very stingy tippers, maybe because I almost never had a lot of extra money on hand. So if I order something that was twenty bucks, the most you are going to get out of me、uh, in a tip is maybe two bucks.、Uh, but ever since the beginning of this pandemic, I definitely gained a new appreciation. For the people that are still out there and、uh, getting hot, delicious food to people's door,、uh, so I've been doubling or tripling my tip. Sometimes, sometimes for a twenty-dollar、uh, meal, I will tip six dollar or even seven dollar, just to show a bit of gratitude. The other day. I got up in the morning, and as usual, I sat down to check my email, and I saw this email from、uh, a, a store, a merchant that I purchase things from regularly, 
And unlike a lot of the other emails, this one wasn't there to sell me things. Well, maybe indirectly it was, but at least in the whole email, there was nothing about、uh, discount or things being on sale or close out sale or stuff like that.、Uh, there's no message in that email that、uh, tried to get me to shop or buy something. Instead, that email started out as, "We hope that you are wearing something nice and comfortable." As you read this email, because it is important to feel good and appreciate the things you have around you, and this is why we are writing this email, is to remind everybody to appreciate the good things around us. And the email went on talking about、uh, the feel of the sun on your face, that feeling of the first sip of coffee in the morning.、Uh, Waking up to the smell of homemade meals and sleeping in a warm bed,、uh, hanging out and being able to spend time with those people who are the most important people in your life,、uh, and it said that despite of all this、uh, bad, sad, and、uh, scary things that are going on in the world right now, if we only look around ourselves. And really quiet down our mind and take stock. We、we'll、realize that the good still outweighs the bad. There's still a lot of good things around us, and they are there to be appreciated. So I thought that was a very nice little reminder、uh, that a lot of us tend to get trapped in、uh, uncertainty and confusion and. Uh, uh, unconsciously, we get anxious.、Uh, we get depressed.、Uh, we feel caged. We uh, feel uh, aggravated and、uh, forced into a situation that we didn't create ourselves. We tend to get bogged down by a lot of the、uh, negative emotions and negative、uh, outlook when we listen to the news and read things on social media. And sometimes it's just good to sit down and really count out the blessings that are still all around us, out there, the birds the singing, the sun, warm. Well, not right now. Right now it's in the evening, so it's actually a little bit chilly, but the air is fresh. I'm here in beautiful British Columbia, Canada, standing by an open window. Looking out into the backyard. Well, I'm I'm not actually looking.、Uh, can't really see anything, but you know what I mean.、Uh, the the breeze coming through the window. It's、uh, making my now very gorgeous, if I may say so, long hair move on their own, and I can hear the beautiful flute music in the background. Life is still pretty good. Alexa can help you stay informed when it matters most. Keep up to date with COVID-19 news and other top stories. Well, it was a beautiful flute music a、uh, minute ago. Ah,、uh, anyway, that that was a little bit of a looper. Not sure what's going on with、uh, my device. <clears throat> Moving on. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let me step over quickly. Switch the music. Uh, be right back. Alexa, play flute music station. Oh yeah, take that. <laughs> uh, okay, back in business.、Uh, been having a little, little bit of、uh, trouble with background music the past few videos actually.、Um, 
but it's okay. Uh, I have a solution that is in the work that should get things under control relatively soon. So where was I? Oh yeah, appreciation. Um, one thing that I've been thinking about in the past few days uh, is that old story of the grasshopper and the ants. Now I don't know how many of you uh, remember the story, but just in case there are some that don't know that story, I, I will tell it here before we talk about it. The story goes that it was a bright, warm summer day, and the flowers were blooming, and the trees were nice and green. The sun was nice and warm in the sky. It seemed that the whole world just came to a standstill, and the good weather, the beautiful flowers, were going to last forever. And the grasshopper was out there standing on the stalk of grass, singing and looking around, really enjoying the good,、uh, the goodness in the world all around him. When he spotted the squirrel busily running around, gathering up nuts and、uh, other food items and carrying them back to、uh, his home. What are you doing, Mr. Squirrel? said the grasshopper. Why don't you take a break and、uh, enjoy this nice weather? Oh no, I can't do that," said the squirrel. "You see, the winter will soon come, and I must gather up enough supplies for the winter." Oh, the grasshopper just shook his head and went on to enjoy his day. Soon he came across、uh, upon he came upon the river. And he saw a beaver busily building its den. And he asked the beaver, "Mr. Beaver, why are you so busy making that den? Why don't you take a break and come sit with me, and we'll enjoy the warm weather and、uh, the the beautiful flowers and grass all around us? Take a break. Take a load off your shoulder." The beaver said, "No, no. The winter will soon be upon us, and I must have my home completed. Otherwise, I will not be able to survive the winter. If you are smart, you should do the same." Shaking his head, the grasshopper went on his, his、uh, way again, and he came across a troop of ants carrying loads and loads of supply back to their nest. Hey guys, why don't you come hang out with me? Said the grasshopper. The weather is so good, everything so beautiful. Why, why is everyone working so hard? The ants said. Well, we can't. You see, winter will soon be upon us, and if we don't have enough supply, we will surely perish, as you will be if you don't get your act together. And true to everybody's word, the winter came. The beaver was happy in his dam. The squirrel was nice and warm in his nest. And the ants had enough food in their colony that they had no worry. But the poor grasshopper was never seen again, because he did not stock up for the winter. So he soon starved to death. Now I know a lot of you probably remember the story being a little bit different, but that that's a、uh, version I heard. And no matter which version you hear, the moral of the story is basically: if you want a better tomorrow, you got to work hard today. Now, while we can definitely appreciate the sentiment in that story, it is really kind of misleading. I. Was thinking that this story is one of the more unjust morality tales because the grasshopper was、uh, mistakenly blamed. He died because he was lazy. That's what、uh, kids were led to believe. However, if you know your biology at all, if you know your science and your bugs, 
you will know that the grasshopper, even if he was to stock stock up for the winter, he was not going to survive because grasshoppers don't live that long, and they do not survive winter. So, when I was little, I heard that story. And I heard the story telling me I should、uh, work, 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 work hard, not have any fun, so I can survive the winter, so I can survive the rainy day. But now that I'm getting a bit older, what I hear from the story is that we never know if we are going to survive till tomorrow. Or next week, or next month. So it is important to enjoy what's around us right now, right at this moment. Of course, that doesn't mean that you are going to go spend all your money today and have no food tomorrow. But I think it's folly, it's a mistake, to work super hard and never have any fun, just thinking that you are going to survive to an older age. To be able to enjoy things, I've seen so many of my friends, especially the seniors, that when they got old, they regret not having fun when they were younger, because they always thought that if they saved up enough money, they would be able to go spend that money when they got old. However, when they finally got there, when they finally got old. Their health was failing. Their kids were having financial problem. All that money they save end up going towards fixing their body, fixing things for their kids. They never really got any enjoyment out of them. So, I think the grasshopper and the ants is one of the stories that really shows us how we live in a culture. Where a lot of time victims are blamed、um, falsely. Well, that is、uh, all the soul searching that I <laughs> can do today.、Uh, I hope that I have not put anyone to sleep. Or、well, maybe if I did, that's good. You no, know? being able to help people sleep is always good.、Uh, please, everybody, if you like. These videos, subscribe to the channel and share them on Facebook. For now, stay safe, stay strong, stay healthy, and we'll be back tomorrow for Music Monday.